Welcome to Clio's Bodybuilding, a state-of-the-art facility where we can make sure that you get the body sculpt you desire. Raise your endurance with our treadmill wing that comes with a brand new machines that have a single speed and incline features. If cardio sounds like a foreign language to you, you can enjoy our weightlifting suite that comes with weights in various poundages, ranging from the weight of a small cat to the weight of a large cat. If you're feeling very brave, you can take on the hardest activity known to man, re-racking your weights when you're finished with them. After our daily yoga classes, why not replace your lost energy with a cooling, delicious hydrate from our in-house mixology station? Join Cleo's Bodybuilding. If you don't, I can't predict what will happen to you. Hello everybody, welcome back to Hermitcraft. We are at Cleo's Bodybuilding, home of Hivedrate, uh, which hasn't sold any, which I, I'm not really surprised by, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, because, you know, bees and string, bees and string. Anyway, <laughs> I need to deck out this place in a better manner. Uh, which means I need to actually put like bodybuilding stuff in the bodybuilding store. So um, here's the thing. I need better lighting. And as you can see, I'm using torches at the moment. Over here, I've used glow block stuff. And it's, you know, shroom lights. That's what they're called. They're called shroom lights. I knew that. I was testing you. Um, yeah. So I think I'm actually going to need to get, uh, what do you call it? You need to get... End rods. I'm good with my words today. It's staying in. It's fine. This is fine. I'm staying in. Look, I've got my protein steak. Um, it's not a protein shake. They're protein steaks. I, I have spent a lot of time gathering leather in, in my cow farm, which is, you can, can't can see through the window. There. It's just there. Um, on the other side. <laughs> sorry. This is everywhere today. It's fine. So I need to go into the nether. You know what that means? It means I'm going to uh, terrify myself. But I also have this brewing stand from when we went end busting. I got myself some water. I have a single blaze rod and I'm using it for this endeavor. We're putting the blaze rod in here and and I need nether wart. Now, Joe has nether wart. I do know that Joe has nether wart. He's made a house... Well, he's in the process of making a house. It definitely had nether wart on it earlier. I don't know where it's gone. To be honest, things are not going particularly well, to be honest, for me. Because I don't know where anything is. I don't have anything. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to steal stuff off Joe now. Yeah, I was just looking for, like, the farm of nether wart. Apparently the farm of nether wart's gone. So I've just taken, like, six and I'll make my own farm when I get, like, the soul sand. And I can never remember how to get out of Joe's house. It's so confusing. So we do have now eight minute potions of fire resistance. Okay, I could make more. I'm not going to uh, because I am only really going to use them when I have to. I'm taking one empty. You know it, baby. Yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah, anyway, that was that was a, a bit non sequitur, but fine. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and head off into the nether. So I did get a whole bunch of blaze rods. Now, I know that there is, you need popped chorus fruit. And Joe's got a chorus farm, like, literally over there. So um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to destroy everything. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. How are you? I'm, I'm, I, I was better before you walked up on me and terrified the living daylights out of me. How are you? Oh, oh, you're one of those hermits. I mean. Who takes the name seriously. No, 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 that's, that's just you creeping up on behind me. That, that's, that's, that's ah, the got you. Yeah. Well then, do you embrace my presence for uh, some of the other hermits I've visited? Have very much done so. Embrace your presence. What does that mm. entail? Um, Put on the helmet. <laughs> yes! That's the way. That's the That's way. That's what I like to see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is... Uh... Cleo. Yeah. I am here to reform my ways. I have a bad reputation and I want that to change. 
Oh. So I am here to drop off some gifts of all things. Some gifts? Yeah, That's some looking here. Mm -hmm. Um. Have you heard about the derp coin? I um, am aware of his existence. Mm. Um, it's I going to the moon. <laughs> That's what I heard. Uh, th th diamond hands involved, by chance? Oh, diamond hands, of course. We've got a hodl. <laughs> got a hodl. Okay, so you, they're, they're a derp coin. What? What? Can you explain derp coin to me? Yes, I can. Okay, diamonds, but even better. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So, so I can make these are. into armor, is what you're saying? Make tools uh, out of these. Technically, when I sell armor in my store, you'll be able to use these at my store. Ooh. So I am giving you free money to buy things. On I kind. Oh, that, that's on I considerate. That's incredibly kind and considerate. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now so you're I, getting the picture. I'm, I, I think I'm getting the picture. So, um, so. Yeah. How? These are free. How do I Best get for you? So, you're giving me how free you money. That? You're giving me free mm -hmm. money. And how do I get more derp coin? You can buy derp coin at the store. And that is a great question to ask. I like your enthusiasm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> enthusiasm or cynicism? I'm not entirely sure, but you, you know. You will be enthusiastic, believe me. I will. Well, I'm going to take the location paper at least, and uh, and I'll go and have a look at at derp coin headquarters. Yes. Yes, bring your free dirt coins, spend them, have a great time, maybe buy some more, you know? Maybe buy some more. Okay, well, you know, as shady business practices go, this doesn't seem like one at all. Oh, oh, there's nothing shady. Except Don't for mind the... my friends. They're uh, just doing uh, what they do. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I'm used to these guys by now. But well, mm -hmm. thank you for the free money and I will I will Of course. I will go and make my judgments over at your store. Wonderful. Thank you for your time. You're very Bye -bye. welcome. Bye. Enjoy the phantoms. Oh, oh, oh. Yay. Now, a lot of people have sent me messages that Jev has put wings in here for me and and rockets. Um, I also did get these wings from Scar. Now, I figure I'm going to go take a little journey across the mountains. I was going to do the No Wings Club, but you know what? It's, it's fine. It's just not me. I, I'm, I'm. Well, it is me. I was gonna do it, but then you know, life gets in the way, and then everyone's on the several hundred thousand days, and you don't know what to do. So you might as well just use your wings. Now, let's have a look at whatever shady marketing is coming our way. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a fly to one thousand three hundred minus two hundred fifty. Well, and see what happens. This looks like an evil X base. I think, you know, the evil X face probably gives it away. So, okay. I'm not sure if it's this thing or if it's that thing. Um, oh, it's definitely this thing. Derp coin. Eight for one diamond, 20 for two diamonds, 32 for three diamonds. Oh, okay, let's let's have a read. Let's do this thing. Okay. Welcome to the Evil Emporium. We here at EE, we run our economy on the power of derp coin. Trademarks. Always be suspected when suspect when your your dodgy money is trademarked. Exchange your hard-earned diamonds free of conversion fees and shop to your heart's content. Free of conversion fees. I'm pretty sure that this is a conver... That's fine. Um, the store has been hastily created to bring you the goods and services you need. Please forgive its current state of renovations will come along soon. Come so Words. Come soon along with more ways to trade and earn derp coin more stock and bargains you won't want to miss legal value legally legal the value of derp coin is subject to change and cannot be issued outside the premises of the building derp coin is non-refundable and subject to default under mismanagement or bankruptcy so basically what that says is if you don't spend it immediately 
then you might have you you might just lose all your money when it goes bankrupt. So uh, don't buy money substitutes. Buy money. Just use money. Money works. That's all I'm saying. The exchange derp coin beyond this premises is considered illegal and subject to prostitution under the division of Supreme Overlord Evil X. Derp coin has no liability for your own financial misgivings. Okay. Right. So, people are buying it. Three diamonds for 32 derp coins. This is, this is sending off my dodgy meters. Right, so... Deep ores, okay. Fuel stone, shinies. Okay, so a premium dirt coin for one premium dirt coin for one, okay. One premium dirt coin for 20. Oh. Okay. I can't, I can't. I'm gonna stand on top of these things. Right, hmm stone. I see, what, right, so this is all the premium stuff. So I can just get any of this premium stuff for a single derp coin. So what's more here? Every successful payout yields a 50% chance to win again. This means you're guaranteed one coin and many, many... Hang on. Premium derp coin, you say. What is the? What is that, you ask? It's the opportunity to win big on the pre on premium stock. Here at Evil Emporium, we pride ourselves on the experience of our valued customers. Our best sock is reserved for those who invest in premium dirt coin. Purchase a premium coin for 16 regular coins here. Hang on. So, eight for one diamond. So, two diamonds worth. Or... Or one and a half diamonds worth. Okay. That's shady. That's really shady. So, if you buy, like, the cheap one and... Oh, no. This is really shady. This is super shady. Well done, X. Okay. Um, deposit them in the hopper below and press the button to try your luck. To try your luck. Every successful payout is a 50% chance to win again. This means you're guaranteed one coin and many, many more if the odds are in your favour. Okay, well... What's what's the non-premium version? What, do that, what does that buy? Um, dubious, dubious, dubious. So, okay. Silk Touch. Nine... D Oh, that's scummy. That's super scummy. <laughs> okay, you can buy eight for one diamond. Okay, and you can buy one book. Uh, no, you can't even buy one book. You have to buy the 21. So they're upselling you on the price. Oh, this is shady. Super shady. Mending. 11 derp coin. Um... Okay, what we will do is we will do, we, we will gamble for more premium dirt coin, but only once. So I'm just going to boot that in. I didn't even get a single premium dirt coin. Okay, so. So I didn't get any, like any at all. I see. So there you go. You get a 50% chance of nothing, apparently. Okay, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. So I, you know, this this is, this is the much more interesting side, let's be honest. If only I could convert my premium derp coin into to less premium derp coin. There we go. I mean, there's nothing that's odd numbers, really. I mean, I could get a cake. Four dirt coin. This, I might actually buy some more, to be honest. So four, four, I don't really need it. I don't really need it. I don't really need bones. Who really needs bones? I don't need it. I'm not taking them. 
I am going to take some more tags. Um, because I like tags. And I am going to get... But if I just pay three more diamonds... This is scammy! I know it's scammy. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I'm just going to go for another one. Just one. I know when I'm where well, I know when I'm beat and I'm just going to take some more name tags <laughs> because seriously, I need I need more. Um So, 1 2 3 4 And I'm going to use this derp coin as a message to myself. And I'm going to put it up in my gym saying we do not accept derp coin in the gym. Because it's so scammy. <laughs> so scammy. So, finally, got the blaze rods. In fact, got the blaze rods. Got the pops chorus fruit. Got some end rods. Right, so the reason why I want to do that is um, barbells. I can now put things on top of these things and have them at different heights. So, for example, if I wanted to do a guy um, with his hands up his he above his head, I'd probably have to put him on a pedestal, to be honest, because I'm not sure a an armor stand could reach that. But, you know, I can do a little stand thing. It'll be cool. So, yeah, and I can put, like, little heads and stuff on there. It all works. It all works. Oh, so pleased. So now let's work on the interior of the gym. I started with the treadmills. The reason why I started with the treadmills is because everybody in a gym loves a treadmill. Unless you're a weight bro. I've got you covered as well. But everybody loves a treadmill. And I know that because the treadmills in my gym are always full and I have to wait to get on them. But I am really proud of this build because not only did it get the lighting in in a natural way with the, with the end rods. But... The helmets, the helmets worked really well and it actually acts like a, a, a running belt and the little tilting them downwards to, to do the little display I thought worked really well and I do like the fact that I put them in the gym's colours like the teal and the grey and I could swap them over it, it just it just felt really well um, it just it just worked for me the weight racks I really enjoyed doing because there's something very zen about putting in the weight racks and again I did like the fact that I managed to get the lighting in in a natural way um I've seen this what do you call it the, the weight the weight bench the weight lifting bench um I've seen this done across the internet in Minecraft with the anvils and some carpet on top of it and I thought I'd use that because that's a really good idea I'd, if you if you originated that idea well done perfect um, I like the tiny little barbells, which are like small, like that's the smallest you can get for, for a block in Minecraft, in my, well, in this armor stand pack. Maybe if you use chills a little bit, you could get them smaller. But um, I really like the way I could use the armor stands to act as weight supports. That worked really, really well. And it's, it's just, it just felt nice to do. It's, it's like, it's a simple build, but I think it's very effective. Um, I've also put down some yoga mats, sneaky way to hide lighting as well, there are end rods underneath those, so th the middle of the floor is lit up, and yeah, the boxing, the boxing area, I was really proud of the boxing thing, because subtle lighting, you've got to, you've got to enjoy your subtle lighting, because of the end rod at the top, um, but also because it incorporated a, what do you call those things, a brewer, a brewing stand, as one of those metallic things that hold up the um, the punching bag. And, you know, I, I then just made sure that those two things connected with an armor stand, which is fine. And I do like the wood bit because, you know, if you don't have like a hook from the ceiling, you've got to have a base, uh, you've got to have a backboard to it. So it's just sort of like along the back of the thing where it, it works it just works it just works let's accept that it is a thing that is working okay um so yeah i'm really overall proud of this this is this is this has been quite nice to do 
Now, as you can understand, I obviously started with the people on the treadmill because somebody can't put on their safety cord and had to be, you know, falling over and falling off their, their treadmill because it can't be a Clio build unless somebody injures themselves. It's 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 mandatory by right now. Um, the weightlifting is... I, I just love the weightlifting. Um, mostly, I, I enjoy the fact that it's a very simple one, but it does have somebody spotting the other guy and they're just sort of making sure that it is safe. And, you know, safety is very important in gyms because otherwise you, you're going to have a bad time. Um, I liked the people doing yoga because those are two armor stands, obviously, but it's it's just a nice thing to put on, on and work with um, because you don't see armor stands usually in those positions because not a lot of people can do... This is sort of a medium level technique where you put like the pants and the boots on an armor stand and have it, you know, have it, have it joined together. Most people don't do that, but it is a thing that is possible. And I, I thoroughly recommend that you, you, if you are an armor stand person, work with double armor stands if you want them lying down or anything. Um, the legs are, the leg armor stand is invisible. It's just the top one. So you've got to make sure you've got a block at the bottom to sink it into. It works. I'm really proud of the guy using the arm stands, uh, using the, the arm stands, the weights on the floor. I don't know. I it just It just tickled me. It was just a nice active thing to be doing. I really enjoy that. And then, of course, there's the, the, the build of the Hydrate store. Had real problems because... Um, there's now an undo button in the book. There's now an undo button in the book. So you can undo the last thing that you did on that armor stand. Um, but if you haven't locked the other armor stand, um, sometimes it will affect the one that you're nearest to. And that's that's a bad look. But overall, I enjoyed doing this. Okay, there was one last thing I wanted to do. And that is to make a sign. Uh, I can't remember how to make things invisible, but I'm pretty sure it's like this. There we go, invisible. And let's put that block there. Sign. Derp coin not accepted. There we go. And I have... Ooh. Do I have any die because i feel like it should be teal is that my die box it is i just forgot to bring the teal with me brought the glow glowing so you know i'm you know often half right and glow glow ink glow ink derp coin not accepted so on that note i've been zombie cleo this has been hermitcraft class dismissed